is a this is my first review on this machine. Here it is, running. It's got 46 hours on it. Uh, they sold me a quick hitch with changing out buckets, but it just turned out to be a pile of shit. Um, it just, it, it, it's an aftermarket company. Uh, just, I don't know. They, they, uh, they didn't have their pinholes straight. I did a video on that too. I uploaded it, but the machine runs pretty good. Uh, it's got it's got decent power. Uh, it's got decent reach. Um, had a couple little issues with it already. Uh, uh, nothing big. Uh, the display on the on the thing is kind of like blinking. Like uh, the LEDs aren't working right. Um, I don't know. The, uh, this company Warrior that I bought it from. who I bought it from, they're in Rialto, California. Um, I just, it's been a series of, of crazy little things that have happened with them, from them just losing my check and their salesman not knowing what features the thing had and them not knowing enough about the machine they're selling. They just, they don't know. And uh, you know, before you buy one, you better tell them everything you want on it and the way, way you expect it to work and get it in writing because they don't like to put anything in writing and uh, they claim that it has a warranty uh, three year 4,000 hour warranty I just uh, I don't know that, that they'll honor it or, or but I mean they just haven't been real uh, they haven't built a lot of trust with me they haven't built a lot of trust to, as, as a customer from me uh, I mean uh, I paid $25,200 for the machine, and then I paid $800 for delivery. I paid $1,000 for an extra bucket that ended up not fitting because the pin spacing was wrong, and I paid for $2,000 for a quick hitch that was a pile of shit, but the holes were just all screwed up on it, and then, uh, then it wouldn't even pick up the bucket. Uh, it, it was just a shit show. And, they said that it has a float feature and it doesn't. Uh, that that blade doesn't have a float feature. Um, they they just uh, they just don't even know what the hell they're selling. I don't think. And when you go to a Lugong web website and you're looking for parts for this thing, you can't get a price on parts. You can't. There, it's not like Caterpillar where you can get things for it. Uh, you have to go through the dealership, and then half the time their parts guy will just forget to call you back. Uh, it just doesn't. He's just terrible about it and I don't know why I mean I, I've told him you know I mean all right so some mistakes have been made let's just get past that let's just try and work together and they just they've just been more and more uh, difficult to, to deal with and it's been really unfortunate but like I said I like the machine it's got a Yanmar uh, engine it's tier 4 uh, I'm using it over here in Arizona um, unfortunately I have to go through the Rialto dealership if I want parts it seems and, uh, um, but other than that I mean it's a pretty decent machine um, uh, it's got rebuildable bushings in the arms uh, it's got uh, nice seals and things uh, uh, it, it obviously runs good um, uh, I think that with a Kubota or a Bobcat or that kind of thing, I think that I just have a lot better dealership support and aftermarket support. Uh, I asked them for the, uh, to, I wanted to buy the stereo for this thing, have a Bluetooth stereo on it, and it was just a shit show. Uh, two months later, they still don't have it, and they still don't can't give me an answer on it, nothing. I just added some, some Bluetooth speakers up to the top there and made it work. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, I told them, hey, I don't like this quick hitch. I wanted them to take it back. I paid $2,000 for it. They would only give me $1,200. Uh, the thing only had maybe 20 hours on it, and, uh, and they knew it was defective. I showed them how it was defective, yet they didn't want to give me my money back. And then he said, well, it lists for less than $2,000. It lists for uh, $1,200, so that's all we're going to give you back. And it's like, well, your salesman charged me two grand for it, and... And uh, that's uh, 
kind of a, a messed up deal. It's, it's like, are you proud of him for ripping me off or are you freaking embarrassed that he ripped me off? Uh, I think that uh, they couldn't give me an answer on that. But anyway, uh, here it is, up and running, 46, 47 hours on it. Uh, it's coming up on its first service. Um, I've greased the shit out of it. They don't give you enough grease right from the get-go, trust me. Uh, before I even ran this machine, I checked grease in all the pins and I just wasn't satisfied. So, uh, pumped grease all the way through everything and uh, cleaned up a bunch of stuff and, and made it right. Uh, but it's a decent running machine. Um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. it. All the controls are very standard on it, uh, just like any other Mini. Um, you know, it's uh, it's obviously it's got a lot of power. You don't hear that engine bogging down, and it's smooth uh, for the most part. The the, the uh, side to side on, on the cab is not real smooth. Uh, it uh, trying to line up to to get it to line up for pins on a bucket is a pain in the ass. Uh, and I've complained to them about that, and they're just like deal with it. Uh, they don't even want to check it. They don't want to help me. They're just like basically F you. Um, that's just what it is. So uh, if you're spe expecting a dealer that really wants your business, um, you're not going to get it there. Uh, just That's been my experience. Um, and, and maybe your experience will be different. Maybe uh, you'll have a great time there. I don't know. But um, uh, I've... Uh, I've done. I've been over backwards to try and be nice about some of the crappy things that have happened to me, and uh, and they all just act like asses. So that's where we're at. This is my Lugong. Uh, Lugong is one of the uh, major uh, producers of wheel loaders around the world. Big mining type stuff. Uh, they seem to be just getting into these smaller machines now, and uh, and. Um, they're building a pretty good machine. Uh, I'd put it up against any one of the other Chinese Mini X's. Um, I just, uh, like I said, I, I don't think that it has the support of Kubota, or Bobcat, or any of their major brands. And um, uh, I just uh, can't give them a great review on that. Uh, I think that Lugong is a company is just getting started in North America. Maybe they'll get better. Uh, maybe they won't. Um, uh, I've reached out to Lugong to voice my concerns over some things and gotten nothing back. Uh, if you just want to just do your own experimenting, try getting on their websites, try talking to people at Lugong, and you will not get through. You will not get anybody to help you. You'll get a dealership uh, who just basically wants to take your money and send you down the road. I don't think that they really want to do any future business with anybody. They just don't give a crap. So. Uh, that's where we're at. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to put it in the comments section and I'll answer it back as soon as I can.